L D N R B S. We have another extra special guest in the building. Jeez. None other than Nux. Let's give him a clap out here. I have to speak first. I have to speak go first. On. I have to Take speak it first. Away. I'm sure Nux is like, oh my gosh, here we go. Here we go again. He's gonna do it again. <laughs> right. This is one of the best in the UK. Aww. I just want to say this straight up. This is one of the best rappers in the UK. Hey, Come on, I'm gonna say it for a third time. This is one of the best <laughs> rappers in the UK. Emphasis. Facts. So, I'm gonna start from something that's happened. The latest thing you dropped, mm. 24. Mm. Tell me about 24, man. Um, well, obviously you more than anyone know about my <laughs> yeah, birthday man. tunes. So that was just another song where I just um, rounded up my year in it talked mm. about like obviously the highs and the lows that I went through mm. and um, yeah it's just a summer I'm just going to keep doing every birthday I mm. just want to just say what's on my mind in it so that's going to be a trend for your whole career you're going to yeah. keep on coming out of these songs every yeah, year man. get ready for 30 35 candles 40 candles <laughs> what if you're ill one of these just before <laughs> like <laughs> what you can do like prior time or so yeah. for the people that have just locked in who yeah. may not know Nux who are you Tell us more about yourself. Um, go by the name of Knox, a rapper, producer, born and raised Northwest London. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Most definitely. That's him. So I feel like Knox has been dominating the music scene for quite some time now, I mm-hmm. would say. Um, you know, I first saw you perform live at the ABC show. Okay. The ABC show. I didn't even and know that, yeah. Yeah, that's the first time I, I, um, I heard of you and I thought it was a really good performance and you Thank played you. the song Frostbite. So I know that you've already been here before but I wasn't here when Ty was interviewing you so I wanted to know because I love that song. Wow. Where did that he come He said raw like as if you've not heard that many, times <laughs> with many people. Do you yeah, know what, yeah, with that song, yeah, it's like a select few people that say that's the song. Mm. I love it. I'm a big fan of Frostbite and I wanted to know a bit more and find out more about the song where did it come from the inspiration that sort of thing um i don't even remember you know i think i was just i was just cold and i said oh it's cold yeah i think it was, <laughs> really it was winter i remember it was winter and i was like oh it's cold yeah and that tune um fun fact because you know like my style is very sample heavy isn't it mm. yeah that is one of the songs one of the only songs that isn't it doesn't have a sample in it that's mm. why i made it from scratch nice but yeah, like I was just called, so I said I'm called. I didn't know you was a producer, to be honest. Yeah. I'm learning. So, when did you get into that? When did you start producing? Um, when I was 12, 13. Really? Yeah. Amazing. Like, but just, I wasn't good, but <laughs> I like I kept making me. I think I, I got to a stage where I started rapping on my beats when I was like 14, 15. Oh, so you did producing first and then rapping? No, or? Mm, kind of at the same time. No, in fact, that's a lie. I rapped. Well, I did grime, I spat bars first okay. like when I was 12, when I was young. Mm-hmm. And then um, there was a certain type of beats that I lacked, but there weren't too many. Like, you know, sample heavy mm. grime beats, they're not, mm. there's not too many of them. So I started playing around with the software, uh, Fruity Loops. And then eventually I just got to a stage where I started making my own beats. Tell me about your relationship with music early on. Because it seems like I feel like I'm sometimes the only person that knows certain songs, yeah. and then you put out 24, <laughs> and then I hear oh, the many that. ways Usher yeah, from yeah, his yeah. first album. I see that sample, and I see a lot of songs where you seem to sample real music, yeah. real music. So I want to know what was you exposed to early on in your well in your life to get put to his music. So um, with songs like that, yeah, it's that's a more not recent but it, it wasn't a thing when I was proper young that I was listening to mm. songs like that I think when I was younger I liked I liked Missy Elliott you know when I was younger hey. Missy. I used to listen mm. to her <laughs> Missy and I think that kind of influenced like my style a bit with mm. the quirkiness and the mm-hmm. laughing kind of funny kind of stuff but um, and the dance moves as well yeah and the dance moves would you say <laughs> that <laughs> yeah in every every There's single night like, studio I was like, hey. <laughs> and his cousin over there that I see over there <laughs> yeah do a little shaku I just see something around there looking at me like nah but yeah but um, I think with songs like that many ways do you know what many ways I found out about that through um, there's an artist there's a rapper called mm. um, Keith Keith Spacebar mm. and he has a song which sampled it as well in it so I went and did my research and I found the song and I was like yo this song is mad, mad. so like with songs like that 
I just go back and I just listen to like a lot of stuff that came out like years ago Mm. because that's really when everything was just real and authentic you know what I'm saying I have to ask you this question as a fan too I have to ask this question when it comes to um, anticipation Mm -hmm. I don't think I've known too many times in the UK in this new crop crop at least where a new artist has come out and had so many people waiting for them to put out music literally it's not happened too many times in this new crop at Mm. least so how do you deal with that anticipation of what you put out next all the time um i don't know it's funny because it was like maybe like four years ago was the opposite like Mm. i remember having like when you had Tyrone take Mac on your um, DMs, the only probably the only person saying that you're sick, literally. Fam, there was a few people <laughs> yeah. like there was like no one really. There, I had um, like two hundred and something followers mm. back then, and I sent my mixtape to all of them, mm-hmm. and like I think maybe three people got back to me. Mm-hmm. But from it, like for it to get from there to a, a stage where like I'm putting something out or I'm trying to put something out and people are like, yo, where is it? Like mm. people are getting at me. Like, Aggressive. I'm angry, like, yo. Yeah. Like, it's, <laughs> the way I deal with it, I just like, I just say it's, it's coming because at the end of the day with the project, especially like I did the project, I finished it in summer. Mm. So all this time people have been getting at me. It's not my fault. I've done my job. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. It's like the label stuff and like, it was mixing, mastering, like clearing the sample, stuff like that. It's coming out soon, but yeah, it's coming out soon still. I want to talk about your track with Notes. Mm. Give me an insight. How did that even start? Um, that came very naturally. I think um, Notes was just somebody who just appreciated and respected me as an artist, didn't it? Mm. And I think one thing that I've learned, especially about this period, in my um like it, with my music is that people who mess with me now i know that it's genuine mm. because like it's not like you're not here because i've got millions of views because i don't you're mm. not here because um like do you get what i'm saying mm. Like, mm. so when he reached out to me um it just came across as authentic and then we had a show together we did um the brighton great escape mm. festival together nice. we're on the same lineup and then that's when we spoke and then we said, oh, we should get in together. Mm. And we did. And then funnily enough, the first session I had with him, that was my first session with um, Swindle as well, producer sick. that I co-produced with. Very sick. And we made Hooper in that first session. Like just wow. that really? one day. Yeah, and that was it. That's nice. Was so you just vibed from the offset, really? Yeah, man. Love Speaking that. Speaking of established artists that have seemed to have aligned themselves around you, mm. you've got another one, which in my opinion is the best UK rapper. Exactly. Thus far, yeah. so Retri too, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he doesn't seem to put himself next to people unless he really does believe it. Mm. Tell me about this. You know, I think everyone wants to know those conversations between Nux mm. and Retri too. But tell me about that whole experience or him even hollering at first. Um, at first, like obviously, as you can imagine, it was kind of surreal, innit? Mm. Because like nowadays, like I'm getting. Um, like people are reaching out to me, people that I was listening to when I was younger, growing up on these people, I just call like I have the number and stuff. Like, yeah. So um, it was surreal. And um, the first time actually that I met up with him, I think I was meant to produce something for his project for the, what project was it? Was it the, the was it? No, the, it was the growing, um, growing, pain? No. growing over, growing over time, growing over time. Yeah. It was that because um, who linked me? Someone linked me in with him, and um, yeah, we went to the studio session and like we produced a song, but it didn't make the cut in it. Mm. Then there was another time where um, he asked me to come out to like it was some I can't even remember where it was. It was like in the countryside somewhere, like a farm or something. Mm. And um, <laughs> like he had a studio in the farm in it. It must be nice, but yeah, it was. It was, nice, <laughs> yeah. and um, um. I did like a hook for the for the um, Young Fire Old Flame project too. Okay, but they, I don't think they've, they they haven't dropped it yet. Mm-mm. Then the third time was um, a session that it was my session, and he came down, and then we recorded. I got a, pro- a song with him on the project, and we recorded exclusive. That. Yeah, man. So mm. each time that I was with him, it was just mad to see him work in it because I know like rappers all work different. I work different to him. Yeah, like, I feel like with me. 
I'm more of a rapper where like I go into my little corner and like write down whatever I'm doing. But him, he likes to include people in what he's doing. So like mm. he'll be like, turn it, turn it, turn it, and we'll look at you like turn it, turn it, <laughs> and you'll be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's how he writes his bars. It was sick to see that in it, and mm. like. Um, in the second session Avelino was there as well yeah. nice. and it was good to see both of them like they both worked the same in it so mm. I like to see like them bouncing ideas off each other mm. it was a good experience though. so I hear a lot of he reached out to me he reached out to me so mm. that's really good and um, mm. what do you think I guess what do you think it is about you that these established artists are looking at you and they're recognising what you're doing and they're seeing you and they're thinking yeah I want to work with him. What do you think you're doing to get that presence? Um, I just feel that they see um, authenticity. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm not trying to be anything. Like, I'm not seeing what other people are doing and say, oh, I'm going to do my own version of that. Like, um, I, I agree. I think one thing about you as an artist is I think you don't seem to be that type of person that will do anything for the clout. Mm. So I never really see your name come up in any of these mad stories or on the shade brother that we've got those <laughs> blogs or nothing. Like I don't feel like you do the most to get the attention. I think you naturally, mm. people just naturally warm to you and like your style. So with that being said, mm. how do you think, or I guess, do you feel like you have to act a type of way, or mm. you have to put out certain things to make sure that you keep that authenticity? Authenticity as opposed to being um, being like the rest how do you stand out I think um, what do you mean by keep authenticity so like obviously you've got that vibe already do you feel like have you have to purposely do things to uh, keep that vibe or is it just it does it come naturally to you sucks. yeah yeah <laughs> yes Sarah nah, um, <laughs> dripping in the <laughs> um, I don't want any like anything that's not I don't want nothing that's not for me. Do you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, if I don't want to do anything to get something, like I just anything that comes from me doing what I'm doing is what I'm meant to get in it. Mm. So mm-hmm. that's what I do. I just be myself. Love that. Humble. You could tell he's a wordsmith yeah. from that from that answer sure, right yes. there. But he's a poet and he didn't know we it. Also, exactly. But we <laughs> also put out on LD and RBS asking people if they want to ask any questions so I kind of anticipate what one of them was going to be we already know what one of them was going to be yeah. but um, Cooley Cam Cooley Cam Cooley Cam yeah shout out, shout out to him shout out Cooley Cam he asked <laughs> is there going to be a, is there definitely going to be a project out this year definitely oh, no. yes. definitely. definitely that's yes. a quick and easy one there. Yeah. we got Ray F-A-U-X also Sorry. asked is there a next in the next drop mm as an album I'm guessing mm-hmm. are they asking how much in-house production will there be um, that's a good question mm. Big up, right? in-house. in-house means me yeah yeah I say like 80% 80% majority of it is me I think I've got maybe two songs that aren't me and then I've got a couple songs that are co-produced by Swindle but mm. yeah it's mainly me was that something that when you first started making this project was that something that you knew was going to happen it was going to be 100% me but um, there was a couple of, like the two tunes that are about other people I just liked them so much mm. that I just left them on there put them on there can we talk about vows as well because I feel like probably my favourite yeah, song yeah I feel like yeah, vows probably. is probably out of all your songs vows is the one that I've heard on a lot of the radio stations yeah. a lot. <laughs> this one a lot <laughs> but yeah no, I this have. one a whole lot but I yeah. have I've heard yeah. it like Capital Spin yeah. It yeah. Radio One and Spin It like yeah. you know what I mean I'm not that's his facts, brother. <laughs> facts so obviously can you just give me an insight into Vows as well like where, where was the inspo for that and the video as well because I thought the video was really good big mm-hmm. up Natalie I seen her in that one <laughs> um, I think oh yeah shout out Natalie um, the inspo I don't know, with a lot of my songs yeah the inspiration just comes from like things that happen to me in it like whether or not the whole song like it could be abstract things that have happened to me like I take something from this something from that and just put it together and make a song so I think that's kind of what that was but also I knew that I wanted to make a song like I'm a very big fan of like drill music and stuff in it oh okay so that surprises me you know I get that who do you listen to drill I was saying this today my favourite drill artist has to be Heavy One 
Really? Sick. Big up Heddy. Yeah, sick. I just, I like Heddy, man. I think he's sick. But um, yeah, I wanted to make something that was kind of like drill, but try to keep like my original kind of sample heavy sound in it. Mm. So I made like the drum, like if I was to like mute the sample and you could just hear the drums, you'll think it's a drill song in it. So I made the drill drums, then found the sample and then just put it together and then just went over it. And what about the lyrics? Yeah, like I said, that's just something that was happening. A situation I might have been in at a certain time, <laughs> just put it into the music. I'm going to go back and listen to every nut song and, and, see, like, and see, okay. see exactly what, what these situations she just wanna were. Do val- <laughs> she just want to do vows. I just want to make Jeez. it. So, Jeez. with that being said, were you Jeez. saying you got proposed to? Yeah. No, not, <laughs> I have to take it literally. That. Isn't that literally? <laughs> I'm taking it literally. He's trying, he's trying to backtrack now. He's trying I know. To backtrack. I'm there fishing. That's what I like to do. <laughs> in the next five years, where do you believe Nux will be? Um, is that another question? Or that is a that question. That's a question from Ty. It's a question from me. Um, in five years, doing this mm. just to a big, bigger scale, mm. maybe going like um, not maybe definitely going abroad and just doing it. Where are you gonna go? World. Um, everywhere. Like I want to go. Obviously, I want to start off America. Surprisingly, I haven't been there already. Have you travelled a lot? No, I mm. haven't. I think. Um, which is so interesting how vivid your lyrics are coming mm. from northwest London mm. to think what you'll do when you expand mm, mm, but yeah mm, mm, mm. I can't wait to start travelling but I just the way I am I just don't want to I'm kind of hard on myself sometimes I feel like I don't deserve to enjoy it yet I feel like the mm. hard work like I just, I just want to do Please all. enjoy it because I, will. I, know because it's I have coming. to say there's a lot of people that are literally enjoying your music to another level. There's a lot of people yeah. like myself mm. who love hip hop, love it, love lyricism, love people that produce real music. Mm. You're that, and you are heading something for yeah. a lot of people. Thank enjoy you. it. As man. I said, I moment I put up your clip, I had so many messages like for people that hadn't didn't know who you were and yeah. were saying like, who's this? Who's this? This sounds wavy. Like people back home from Bristol as well. Like yeah. people, Shout out to yeah, Bristol. Isn't it? I got to drop oh, that in. There. Yeah, that's where I'm from. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it, yeah, people know, people are listening. People f with your style. I can't say about what to, but no, it's that. good. And I would want to know as well: Are you going to do any live shows? Because people want to see a headline yeah. one. We need, we need the headline one. Man. Yeah, the, now the headline is going to come after the project comes. Yeah. I just feel like I just want a lot of like songs in it. Yeah, I, I haven't got. I've got a few songs out, but not too much. Tell me too. I remember a while back when you did have 200 followers mm. and you put out 21 candles tell me how it is coming from that Nux to the Nux that is now signed tell me about that whole experience Woo! of even being signed please tell me just the two just tell him tell he needs to know yeah I need to tell know tell him <laughs> <laughs> um, it's it's strange because obviously you know that I was in at uni at the time yeah. innit? so I feel like since I've left uni, I had to do, I had to redo um, a year in it mm. at uni. So I left, I finished uni last year. I graduated last year. Congratulations. Woo! Woo! Uh, <laughs> I feel like after I've graduated, I'm still in a similar kind of mindset that I was while I was at uni. Mm. Because I had, I was balancing uni and music. I didn't have time for nothing else. So mm. I didn't really have a social life like that, like that. Mm. Didn't go out to all of these places. So now I've left uni and I have more time to do those things. Mm. I'm still indoors, like just working on or at studio or doing something productive. Mm. Like I don't, I haven't like gone to some of the places that I feel like I could now. Like, mm. And people will probably think, oh, as a signed artist, you'll be doing this and doing that. I haven't done that yet. I feel mm. like maybe... When the project is out, I kind of will feel like relieved, like, ah, oh, the work is done. Mm-hmm. Like, I can, like, lay my hair down a bit and enjoy a bit, yeah. So I feel, um, yeah, that's how it's kind of been for me. Like, um, signing, for me, signing wasn't about, I just needed the extra support and help, like, um, from a label in terms of, like, getting me out there, innit? Mm-hmm. But it's not for, um, like, enjoy like the glamour and that it's not it's not that for me that's why I didn't really tweet about it or tell mm-hmm. everyone like oh, I'm sad like 
it's just about the music in it. But people will know when when the project is out. I think. Love that. Amazing. Are you here rocking up with your No Days Off merch? Come on. Is come that on. dropping anytime soon? Which I'm looking at you and your cousin going. <laughs> I need one of these hats. So um, yeah, go. <laughs> yeah, no, we're gonna we're gonna put some out soon, and I'm gonna do like a little um um. Like we're gonna do like a giveaway. We're nice. making like a, um, a no days off profile in it. Like a, a couple. Like we've got a Twitter page, but we're doing like a no days off Instagram and stuff like that. So we're gonna probably put like a do a giveaway like five the top five followers or something like that mm-hmm. to get the followers up and also to like give back to the fans and that. Sick. So. Nice, love Sick. that. I it's would, been great. It ha- really has been. And yes. I've got to say, just before. Um, you put out it was just after 21 candles you put out um i said to myself mm. this person's gonna go and do some great things after 21 candles which is years ago now man, you did actually yeah. say that you're not i'm captain 100 percent yeah in it <laughs> but yeah oh, at least she said that and now i feel like we're at a point prior to the album coming out mm. where i feel like next is the stars for you so i feel like we're saying it first on ld and rbs it's gonna happen so thank ld and rbs nuts give them a clap out Woo! here thank you, thank you, thank you. Shout out the socials so the people them can follow. Um, I'm at Nox underscore music on everything Instagram, Twitter, the lot. Love it. LD and RBS, we bet, and I'm definitely not going to say who we got next, but we Don't got some drop it. hitters next Keep week. Keep them in suspense. LD Make sure you lock in. Thanks for listening. Hey.